Melissa Lanceman wants to give Trudeau's new top legal beagle, Toronto's Ara Ferrani, a piece of her mind. Stop listening to the pointy-headed professors and start listening to Canadians. Says Lanceman, the suburban Toronto MP and deputy leader of the Pierre Poilievre-led federal Conservatives. He needs to leave his bubble and go outside into the streets. It's like they don't experience what Canadians experience. Lanceman says you can't have a minister like Varani who figures what you're feeling is imaginary. You've heard of Varani. He's the guy who believes those feeling less safe, well. It's all in their heads. He thinks, empirically, it is unlikely Canada is becoming less safe. No doubt Varani uses the word, empirically, because it's a fancy pants word he figures gives his nonsensical statement more authority. He thinks there is a sense the safety of people is more in jeopardy. Just a sense, not a real thing. You can go back to sleep now. Lanceman has no patience for Varani's shtick. She says Trudeau shuffling his inner circle is just changing out talking head for talking head, with no real change in mind. But she feels people are waking up. What Trudeau's sidekick says is ludicrous and wildly. Wildly out of touch and maddening, and he's from Toronto which is no picnic when we're talking safety. For the conservative deputy leader, the Trudeau liberals screwing up on dealing with bad guys is cuckoo bananas. More and more people will say it, once they feel like they have the license to say it. Yes, Lanceman recalls a time in Nanaimo, BC, where the crime issue was on the table. People were afraid to talk to me about it. They were looking over their shoulders for the activist class that was going to cancel them, that was going to have an effect on their business. She says. That was going to go after their families. People have genuinely become fearful because the activist class has become so strong and they are backed up by big, big, big government money and that's hard to fight. As one example, Lanceman points to the many, many, many millions in taxpayer dough going into programs to keep downtown Eastside Vancouver the hell it is. She also talks about violence where the victim is just in the wrong place at the wrong time. She talks about gun crimes with illegal firearms, the ones the liberals didn't ban because they decided to go after hunters. There's the tent encampment in her own suburban riding, a place where people move to get away from big city problems. She talks about the people who even think twice before taking the train. A sadly familiar story. While I can hold my own, I'm about 5 foot 4 and I'm not going to fight off a bad guy if I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. In recent months. Every single time Lanceman has thought about taking the train she has decided no. She says people now see the rising crime, what the likes of Varani and Trudeau brush off. Some of them gave the Trudeau liberals the benefit of the doubt in the past and they are disappointed and there is no doubt now. Trudeau and company have made things worse, much worse. And Trudeau going on about Poi Livre and the Conservatives somehow making people scared and angry is an easy one for Lanceman to send to the This Dog Won't Hunt file. People are angry, Rick, because they are angry and they are angry because of eight years of failed government policies, says Lanceman. The Prime Minister cannot take away people's right to be angry when he himself is the cause of that anger. Pretending there is no problem when there are clearly many problems in this country is not only out of touch but it's degrading to people. Lanceman, along with the other Conservative MPs, says if they are in charge they will stop repeat violent criminals going back on the streets before they even get behind bars. Then there's bringing back minimum sentences for violent offenses. We should be looking at the victims of crime and not the criminals, says Lanceman. This is a system that's been turned on its head where we're more concerned with the criminals who are repeating the instances of violent crime rather than the victims. Their families, their worlds. And something very profound and very dear is being lost as politics is played with people's lives. There are people who look around and just say, this isn't the country we know, 